everyone. Now continuing with numerical on Simpson's rule. So this numerical is on finding the displacement of a vessel at a certain draft and also the KB at that draft. So it says that water plane areas of a ship measured at 1 meter equal intervals from 1 meter draft till 5 meter draft were as follows 1900, 2400, 3100, and 3400 meters square respectively. Okay, so the ship is floating at 5 meter draft and water plane areas at every meter have been given. Okay, there are 1 meter intervals. So from 1 meter draft onwards to 5 meter draft. So 1900 is at 1 meter draft and going up to 5 meter draft is 3400 is water plane area at 5 meter draft. Now below, below the 1 meter draft there is an appendage, triangular appendage. So, from if from keel to 1 meter draft there is a triangular appendage of volume 700 meter cubes determine displacement of ship at 5 meter draft in salt water and kb of the ship at 5 meter draft so this is the diagrams you can see uh, these are the water plane areas horizontal lines are representing water plane areas and below the 1 meter draft, there is an appendage which is triangular. So, the our ordinates will be the areas, water plane areas. And uh, we will focus on the underwater volume which is above the appendage. Means from 1 meter water line. to 5 meter. So how many ordinates are there in the form of water plane areas? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. 5 ordinates means Simpson's rule number 1 can be applied. What is the common interval between them? 1 meter is given here in the question measured at 1 meter equal intervals so h is 1 meter so i am focusing on the volume which is above the appendage now in the diagram i have made some uh, markings from keel keel to letter c kc kc is the geometric center of the appendage triangular appendage from keel so from apex it is two third of the height so kc is the gc of triangular appendage gc means geometric center then kd kd is the geometric center of underwater volume from 1 meter to 5 meter draft means the volume above the appendage okay from 1 meter to 5 meter draft but from the keel kd the geometric center is from the keel so kd is the geometric center distance of the geometric center of the volume which is above the appendage from keel then i mark b b is the kb kb is the geometric center of the complete underwater volume including the appendage okay kb is the gc of the ship's total underwater volume okay including the appendage which is which is what we are going to find kb Okay, so Simpson's rule number one can be applied. 
first we write the water plane areas here okay starting from 5 meter draft i have written 3400 3100 at 4 meter then 2800 2400 1900 at 1 meter okay it's like this here from top 5 meter level 3400 is the water plane area and downwards till 1 meter so 34 31 28 2400 1900 other water plane areas One, two, three, four, five ordinates means Simpson's rule number one. Okay, multipliers will be one, four, two, four, one. We multiply the water plane areas with the Simpson's multiplier and get product for volume. So <coughs> each ordinate is multiplied by its uh, Simpson's multiplier. 34 into 100 into 1, same. 3100 zero, zero into 4, 12400. Zero, zero. 2800 into 2500, then 2400 into 4, 9600, 1900 into 1, 1900. So I got the products for volume. Now levers. I've taken levers from top from the 5 meter water level because my first ordinate is 3400. I've taken the water plane area which is at 5 meter level. So I take my uh, levers from the top. It's in material wherever you take from. So I take from top. So the lever for the first ordinate from the top will be 0H. After that 1H, 2H, 3H and 4H. So you can see here. So we are taking our levers from this water plane area 5 meter downward so the 3400 water plane area will have 0 h as the lever 3100 will have 1 h is so all this is 1 meter apart all the water plane areas are 1 meter apart okay then 2800 will have h plus h 2 h 2400 will have h plus h plus h 3 h and 1900 will have 4 h so levers from 5 meter water level so i will get my geometric center from top from the 5 meter water level i will get my geometric center then i can subtract it from 5 and i will get from keel because total from keel to the 5 meter level is 5 meter so if i get from top I, all I have to do is subtract it from 5 and I will get the geometric center from keel. Okay, now we multiply our product for volume with the levers and we get the product for moments. 3400 into 0, 0. 12400 into 1, 12400 into 2H, 5600 into 2H, 12400 into 3H, 2800 H, 1900 into 4H, 7600H. Take the sum product of the moments, take the sum of the products for the moments, you get 60,000H and uh, take the sum of the products of the volume we get 9200h uh, sorry 9200 32900h for the sum of the products of the volume and 60000h is the sum of the product for moments okay h is 1 meter so it won't make any difference because you just multiply by one. So what is the underwater volume? From one meter draft to five meter draft means the volume which is above the appendage. Simpson's rule number one, one by three H 
into sum of the products. So 1 by 3 into 32900 sum of the products for the volume. This. I get 10966.667 meter cube. So this is the underwater volume between 1 meter and 5 meter draft. Okay, now I will get the geometric center since I have taken levers from top, means from the 5 meter water line. So my geometric center fall also will be from top, from 5 meter water line. Okay, some of the products for the moments. This one. 60,000 H divided by some of the products for the volume 32,900 and I get 1.824 meter from the water line 5 meter water line. So subtract it from 5 total is 5 5 minus 1.824 will give me the geometric center from keel which is KD. So 5 minus 1.8 to 3.176 meter is the geometric center of the underwater volume above the appendage from keel 3.176. Okay. What is the geometric center of the triangular appendage? It's a triangle and the geometric center of a triangle from apex is two third of its height. So height of the triangle is 1 meter, okay here from, from keel to the 1 meter draft, it's 1 meter height of the triangle and this is the apex, this is the apex of the tri triangle and from the apex it's two third of the height, the geometric center. So two-third of one meter. So the geometric center of the triangular appendage which I have marked here KC is two-third of one meter which is 0 0.667. What is my total underwater volume? So the volume which I found by Simpson's rule between one and five meter water level 10966.67 I add the appendage volume which is 700 and I get total underwater volume 11666.667. So now we take moments. KB of the ship at 5 meter draft. KB of the full underwater volume at 5 meter draft will be broken into parts like volume of appendage into its geometric center from the keel KC plus underwater volume which is above the appendage multiplied by its geometric center from keel which is KD divided by total underwater volume. This will give me the geometric center of the total underwater volume. Appendage volume is 700 multiplied by its geometric center from keel 0.667 plus the underwater volume from 1 meter to 5 meter level is 10966.667 meter cube multiplied by its geometric center from keel which is 3.176 divided by total underwater volume which is 11666.667 and we get 3.025 kb of the ship from the keel shift center buoyancy from keel kb 3.025 meter displacement at 5 meter draft displacement is underwater volume total underwater volume multiplied by density of salt water 
1.025. So total underwater volume is 11666.667 into 1.025 and 11958.33 tons is the displacement of the vessel at 5 meter draft in salt water. Okay, that's how we, we do these kind of questions. So any comments are there, you can leave them in the comment section to clarify. I will be happy to answer them. Thank you very much.